Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we have another offering from Sofern. This is model IF30. Now every once in a while, I'll be doing these flashlight reviews and a product will come by that really catches my attention. This one, folks, is one of those lights. It has a maximum lumen level of 12,000 lumens and it puts out 685 meters of throw. It's USB-C rechargeable. Now this light has a flood style beam, it has a spot, and also you can combine the spot with the flood. Now I've already played with this light off camera and I am very impressed. It runs on an SFT40 LED. This is just a fantastic light. Here is a look at the back of the packaging, so feel free to pause your screen if you wanna read that information. And then let's take a look at these very important specifications of the light. There's the run times and stuff like that. I will be talking about that stuff in this video. And then there's some more specifications and contact information for Sofer. Now, getting this out, we're just going to push this from the top down. There we go. It does have a magnetic closure on the box, so it's very nice packaging here. You can see the first thing that we're looking at is the user manual of the light. So very nice. It gives you some specifications as well and then more specifications and then there's some information here I know I'm doing this a little bit backwards but here is some more information we're just gonna take a quick look at this light and some of the stuff about it very cool again you can hit that pause button if you want to read this stuff a little bit longer right here and then let's get that user manual out of the way and the next thing that we see is a lanyard and it looks like two replacement tail capped o-rings so you got two o-rings and a lanyard very nice that they include that you have a USB C to USB A charging cord so very cool we can use this to charge the light and then lastly packaged very well as you can see is the light itself now we do have this little tag that I'm going to remove and this tag is telling us to take out the insulation film before using the flashlight so very simple and here is a first look at this IF30 this is a beautiful flashlight and you're going to be impressed folks this thing is so easy to use and it's very very bright here's a look at the tail cap and then let's take a look at the business end so on the inside you have the the spotlight and then on the outside you have the floodlight and then you can also combine them where they where they work simultaneously so let's go ahead and take off the tail cap we'll take a look at the tail cap build we'll remove the insulation film that's what the tail cap looks like there is our insulation film. Where did that go? That guy right there. So we'll set that out and we will look inside. You can see a, a solid contact point down in there. And we have the battery here. This is a 32650 lithium ion battery, 6500 milliamp hour of capacity. That is a large amount of battery capacity. Here is the positive and here is the negative. This is a standard. 32650 battery. Now we can insert the battery putting the positive towards the head of the light and then right here you can see right there is the o-ring so as we thread on the tail cap it goes over that o-ring and it gives us that IPX8 waterproof rating. So right there you can see 
there's a little indicator telling us the position of the battery. You can see there's very nice big heat dissipating fins so this light being 12,000 lumens does develop some heat and we want to make sure that we're cooling that light. Stainless steel bezel here just a wonderful light. Now this light does have an automatic lockout function so when the light is turned off it will lock itself out after 15 seconds of being turned off. So if you try to push the button here you can see it gives you a flash telling you that you're locked out. See that? So to unlock the light it's extremely simple. We're just going to rotate this dial until we see our battery level indicator. And that battery level indicator tells us the status of our battery. So green is telling us we're between 50 and 100 percent. It'll stay illuminated for five seconds. So there's the green and then red is between 30 and 50 percent and then flashing red is below 25 percent. And when, once you find that battery level indicator where your life is down below 25 percent, this red flashing indicator will not stop. It'll stay on the whole time. Now I've already charged this flashlight off camera. There is a charging port on the back here and it's USB-C. Very nice little rubber you can pack down in there. So you got to make sure that that's packed in there well to keep your IPX8 waterproof rating. Operating this light once you unlock it, it's extremely simple. You just push the button and the light comes on. Right now, we're looking at the flood. If we want to reduce the lumen level, we turn this wheel counterclockwise. And if we want to increase the brightness level, we turn it clockwise. So it's very, very easy to, to use. It's a ramping style of light and so we'll go all the way down to the lowest setting on the floodlight which is all those exterior outer lights this is 30 lumens and this will give us 14 meters of throw it'll last 130 hours that's 5.4 days of runtime and we get 46 on the candela now if we want to quickly access turbo it's easy we're just gonna double press here we'll go straight up to the highest of the spectrum 12,000 lumens holy smokes folks that is bright 178 meters of throw and on this 12,000 lumen setting this will last for an hour and a quarter so 1.25 hours it gives us 19,350 on the candela now if we triple press the button, we will get to the strobe. So strobe warning. There is our 12,000 lumen floodlight strobe. Single press will turn the light back to the lowest setting that, or whatever setting we were on prior to turbo. So it does have a memory. Now if we want to go and change modes from flood to spot, all we're going to do is just hold this button down and you can see that it switched over from flood to spot. And if we want to go from spot to spot and flood, you'll just push and hold. So when we push and hold this button, it just cycles between the three different modes. There is flood, there's spot, there's combo. There's um, spot, there's combination, and then there's flood. So let's go back to the spotlight. We are on the lowest setting. That's 10 lumens. And this is 49 meters of throw off of the lowest setting on spot. That's crazy. 280 hours of runtime. So this setting, spotlight on the lowest setting, gives us the most amount of runtime out of this light. So we get 11.66 days of runtime. 609 is the candela and then again if we want to go to turbo we can either ramp up or we can just double press. I like the double press it's a quick access to turbo and we are on spotlight 2500 lumens of turbo 685 meters of throw four and three quarters of an hour so just shy of five hours it's got a hundred and seventeen thousand one hundred and sixty seven 
Candela. That is just crazy. Now triple press will get us the spot strobe. So here we're looking at 2500 lumens. It does not specify what the run times are on these strobes but you can see that that's a very disorienting strobe. It changes the frequency whether we're on flood spot or combination and single press turns us back to the last mode accessed again prior to turbo or strobe. Now if we want to go to the combination we'll just push and hold. Now you can see that we have the combination lit up. We have spotlight and floodlight both <laughs> on the lowest setting so we're putting out 40 lumens of output. This will give us 170 meters of throw. This is the lowest setting, 170 meters, 100 hours of runtime, 7,225 is the candela on this combination lowest setting. Now double press, we can get up to 12,000 lumens. Again, it's spot and flood combined, 592 meters of throw one and a quarter hours, 87,750 on the candela. Now we're gonna triple press and get to that 12,000 lumen combination strobe. Let's take a look at that. Triple press, there we go. I love that, that is so, so disorienting and I'm feeling some warmth coming off of the light. It's getting warm, very, very crazy. Single press brings us back to that low setting and then again we want to cycle through flood spot or combo flood spot combo very easy to do that when I did the night shots last night on this light which you'll see here in a minute the combination is just outrageous I mean you can see everything now let's talk about some of the specs when I turn this light off it takes 15 seconds of non-activity and it automatically locks itself out so very easy, very cool that it does that because if you're going to put this in a pack or do something like that, it's you don't have to worry about it turning on or something like that in a pack. When it locks out on its own, a lot of you might be thinking, well, how do I, if, if there's an emergency and I got to grab the light, I don't have time to spin the dial to get the green light to unlock the light. That's okay. This light does have a momentary option. So based on if you're on flood, spot, or combination, it will go to the lowest setting in momentary. So if you do have to grab the light and it's in lockout mode, as you can see, I was on spot. If you just push and hold, you will get momentary on the lowest setting. Again, based on if you're on flood, spot or combination so that is a cool feature so in the event of emergency you can get light it will be on low and it'll remember what mode you're on very cool feature this is impact resistant down to one meter it's ipx8 waterproof and that 32 650 lithium ion battery has a capacity of 6500 milliamp hour folks that is a lot of gas tank for a battery now the dimensions, it's 5.07 inches long and 2.45 inches at the diameter of the head. If we want to talk about that in millimeters, that is 62.4 millimeters at the head and 129 millimeters is the length of the flashlight. This weighs 9.27 ounces or 263 grams and that weight is without the battery okay real quick let's go ahead and plug in the USB-C and we'll take a look at the charging and as you can see we have that flashing red and again charging will be complete when that flashing red turns to solid green so it's very simple to charge this flashlight when charging is complete you can disconnect the USB-C and make sure that you pack this rubber in that will guarantee that you have the IPX8 waterproof rating so make sure you pack that in really well so let's go ahead and test the IPX8 waterproof rating we're gonna just drop this light into the water and that is wonderful let's go ahead and just double press and see what turbo looks like there we go wow that is bright now let's push and hold and let's cycle through. There's the spotlight. Let's go to the combination, that's spot and flood. Wow, that is a bright light. You can just cycle through those different modes. I like that uh, floodlight myself. 
That is crazy. Now, if anybody out there can guess what my favorite flavor of ice cream is, you will win a free butterfly. Let's go ahead and triple press and take a look at the strobe. Wow, that is crazy. So as you can see, this light clearly passes the IPX8 waterproof testing with flying colors. Okay, right now you're looking at the floody style beam. We are on the lowest setting. This is 30 lumens. It'll give you 14 meters of throw and it'll last 130 hours. That's 5.41 days of runtime. Looking off in the distance, you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on, but this is the flood beam. Now I'm gonna turn this dial clockwise and I'm gonna get to the brightest setting. This is gonna be 12,000 lumens. This puts out 178 meters of throw, and as you can see, it's very, very floody. It'll stay on this setting for one and a quarter hours. That is fantastic. Now, if we wanna turn the dial back down counterclockwise, again, we're on the floody beam here. We can go all the way back down to low of 30 lumens. Now, if I push and hold, you'll notice that we jumped on to the spotlight setting and we're on the low end of the spotlight. You can see like the micro house over here and then we can see off in the distance, there's a lot more concentration on the beam. This is 10 lumens and on this low setting, we get 49 meters of throw. And this setting is the longest setting that this light has. This is 280 hours of runtime. That is 11.6 days. Now as I rotate the dial up, we're going to get to a higher lumen level. And now we are on the brightest level. This is turbo. This is 2500 lumens. And this puts out 685 meters of throw. And the cool thing about this is the runtime is four and three quarters, almost five hours. So that is cool, 117,167 on the Candela. That is absolutely fantastic. Now again, we're gonna rotate the dial counterclockwise and we'll go all the way down to the low setting. Again, we're back down to 10 lumens. So you can see the micro house over there. Now if I push and hold, we're gonna go to the combination beam which has spot and flood. So this low setting is 40 lumens. It gives us 170 meters of throw and it'll last for 100 hours. Now there is a trick to get to turbo quickly and that's double press. And this can be used on any, whether you're on flood, spot, or spot and flood. So this is 12,000 lumens of output. 592 meters of throw. And the beautiful thing about this is you have both the flood and the spot combined. This is crazy and it'll last for one and a quarter hours as well on this setting. 12,000 lumens is no joke, folks. I mean, as you can see, it is lighting up everything. 87,750 on the Candela. That is just wonderful. And again, if we push and hold, we're gonna cycle between spot, combination, and flood. And we're on the highest setting. Of course, uh, we can also come back down and rotate the, the dial counterclockwise to go dimmer. And then we can do that no matter what setting we're on. Right now we're on combination. So now we're on only flood. And now we are on only spot. I like the spot too. But I, I really like that combination personally. That is my favorite. Let's try the strobe from here and see what it looks like. Yeah, there's the strobe. That is just very, very disorienting. Crazy strobe. That is just crazy. Single press turns it back to the spot on the low setting and then double press for turbo. We're on the combination rather, not spot only. Now we're on flood only. Let's take a look at the strobe on the flood only. That's the flood only strobe. Single press, let's double press back to turbo and then let's go to spot. 
now that we're focused and we will triple press for the strobe on spotlight that is crazy the quick access to turbo is fantastic i really like this light and what it's doing the combination is really hard to beat you can pick things out but you can also see everything at a far distance that is a fantastic light the flood alone is nice too i mean this is just a wonderful flashlight hopefully you enjoyed those night shots so my final thoughts on this light this is a fantastic flashlight if you're somebody who's in the market and you're not sure if you want one that's floody or one that's spotty or maybe you just want something that gives you the ability to have all three floods blot and combination this is the light for you i want to say thank you to so fern for two things one for bringing such a wonderful flashlight out into the industry for us to to enjoy and two for them for sending this light out for me to review and share it with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you're interested in this light i'll put a link in the description box down below this is a fantastic light folks thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a beautiful day we'll see you on the next one bye for now everybody